Perfect. Yes, and sir. we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have a magnificent guest with us tonight, one who is going to give us some amazing information as well as inspiration, and that is none other than our brother, Shaheed Muhammad out of Miami, Florida. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam, sir. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to have a conversation with us. On behalf of myself, my family, and the viewing audience, we want to thank you very much, sir. And we're, we're excited to have this conversation. The first question that we have for you, Brother Shahi, is, when did you first hear the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Well, I, I had first uh, came in contact with his teaching when I was in fifth grade. My fifth grade teacher was the uh, father of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And um, he came to uh, our home and asked my mother, uh, could he take uh, me and my younger brother, which is a year under me, to the mobs, right? Uh, hmm. At that time, we was uh, uh, stunt dying Christians, you know, and my mother okayed it, right? And uh, he took uh, me and my baby brother to the temple at that time uh, in Fort Lauderdale, but I later learned that it was not a temple, it was a study group. Mm -hmm. And um, for two years, then they blackballed him out of the education system, and I didn't come back into contact with the nation until I was a, a teenager. And the brothers, uh, you know, like young boys uh, walking down the street, and the brothers would um, recruit us in to the meetings on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. But the teaching was not... Um, strong enough to put a hook in me at that time, you know? And uh, I would go to the meet uh, off and on, and uh, but later on, um, uh, when the, I remember when um, uh, they announced that the most harmless Muhammad was deceased, right? And uh, uh, I was in the world, but I didn't quite believe that. You know, mm -hmm. and I felt like uh, I had a strong relationship with the most honorable Muhammad within, you know, but I didn't understand it. But uh, later on, um, fast forward, uh, when the Million Man March took place, uh, uh, I watched the Million Man March on TV. And me, seeing all these black men together, you know, I actually started crying. Nobody but me in the apartment. I started crying, you know? And all of a sudden, you know, I started trembling, you know? I said, something ain't right here, you know? Because, you know, I'm masculine. I, I don't supposed to be crying. I don't supposed to be trembling, right? But anyway, three weeks later, you know, uh, I was living in Tallahassee, and I saw a brother on the corner with the paper, and I asked him, where was the mob? And the brother gave me the address um, to the mobs in Tallahassee, and and I came and visited, and that was history. And here I am. Yes, sir. Beautiful, Rashad. Beautiful, wonderful. And okay, and you're saying so in 1975, although you weren't registered in the nation, you still felt that you were connected to the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. And yes, sir. How did you how did you get a connection to to the messenger? Um without like you know being a nation from what you saw on TV, what you read, how did you get the connection? Well, the uh the accusation that they was making about the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I didn't believe that. Mm. Um uh, I come up in in the time that where um, whites lived on one side of the track and we lived on the other side of the track and we knew the difference between the two people so you know and then um, during that era you know um, you know the hype was you know uh, uh, black power you know so I come up in that er era you know and uh, uh, but I was really not ready you know what I'm saying 
for a strong foundation in 1975. Mm. Yes, sir. Wonderful. And thank you. Sister Miriam says, Asin Lakeham family. Welcome Salam, Sister Miriam. And thank you all who are watching and showing love to our brother Shahid. Okay. Now, Brother Shahid, once you, the Million Man March is when you got registered after the Million Man March? I got registered. Uh, I was processing. Processing. You know? okay. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, it really took me about a year and a half uh, 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 processing because I had been in the world so long, right? You know, and... Uh, I needed strong guidance. I needed strong guidance. So uh, Tallahassee at that time, they had a very strong, uh, very strong believing family there. And that's the structure that I needed, you know? And I remember what the ministers told me when I told the minister that I was going back home. He said, well, brother, the training that you have, you can go anywhere in our nation and survive. And that minister was named Minister Minister Ray Muhammad at that time. Mm, mm. Okay, yes, sir. So, yes, so sir. Minister Ray Tallahassee, this is the near fam you, Florida AM. This That's is that correct. Family. That's Ooh, correct. I always hear very positive things about the believers from Tallahassee, from yeah. people. Yes, sir. Okay. And Sister Mina says, Asim Lakeham. Well, Lakeham Salam, Sister Mina. She's watching in South Highland, Illinois. And thank you all. Everyone, please let us know what city you all are watching and where you're watching from. Rashahi? Yes, sir. Okay, great. My um, my next question for you, sir, is you spoke of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. What was it like for you the first time you met him? Well, um, in Tallahassee, uh, well, they had a, uh, the minister was speaking at um, Birmingham Coliseum mm. Civic Center, right? And the believers, we went to Birmingham and um, that was my first time seeing the minister. And I was up in the balcony, right? And I never had said what I said came forth out of my mouth. And I said, I love you, brother minister. Right? And that's the first time I really had ever said that to another man. Mm, mm, mm. So I think it was a connection. Uh, matter of fact, I didn't know the minister until I got to Birmingham, Alabama. Mm, mm. Okay. Yes, sir. And, okay, so I'm listening. And and you know, um, that left a tremendous impact on me when we left Birmingham, Alabama. Wonderful. Yes, sir. And Brother Shahid, when did you reconnect with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan? Um. When I had um, transferred to Miami. Okay, okay. In 98, first part of 98. And um, I became Brother Rasul Personal Security. Mm. And the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan um, he came to Miami at the Cobo Center, the Cobo Center. Corporate Center, right? Mm, mm. And I never forget, your father told me, say, um, brother, I want you on this door here, right behind the minister, and I don't want to let, I don't want nobody to come through this door in or out. Is that, do you follow these instructions? I said, yes, sir. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so that's the first time I came in contact physically with Donald Mr. Louis Farrakhan. Mm, mm. 1998. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And how did you, the name Brother Shaheed Muhammad, how did that come about? Well, the name, um, the minister was, the minister, uh, he was going on a cruise. 
uh, in October 2004, the last, I believe it was the last week of October uh, 2004. And um, the E-team, they had a skeleton crew. And I was able to walk with the minister and I began to talk to the minister. The minister was talking to me. Then all of a sudden I said, well, Brother Minister, you know, of um, the Final Call newspaper, I have delivered 400,000 papers to our people. And the mm -hmm. minister stopped on a dime. And he looked at me. He said, son, when I get back, I got a good name for you. Mm -hmm. And as we got him on the cruise and we was all coming back, and I said, guess what, Brother Hood? They say, what, Brother Bunny? That was my slave name. He said, what, Brother Bunny? I said, the minister said when he get back, he got a good name for me. And then really nobody believed me mm -hmm. at that time. But anyway, after the minister went out to the Caribbean island, he said for two weeks, different countries over there, he come back. And when we got him from the airport, we took him straight to the mall. And he taught for about an hour and 45 minutes. And we took him off the rostrum and uh, made a peace and blessing be upon uh, 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 brother Captain Selene. Captain Selene mm -hmm. said, well, brother, he said, I'm saying, I want you on the front door and don't let nobody come in this office. I said, yes, sir. Then he come back five minutes later and said, no, I don't want you on the front door. I want you inside. And mm -hmm. wasn't nobody inside but me and the minister. Mm -hmm. And the minister was drained. I don't know if you ever seen the minister drained. And the minister looked at me and he said, brother, don't I owe you something? I said, yes, sir. He said, you want me to give it to you in here or you want me to give it to you out there? I said, brother, minister, you might as well give it to me out there. And me and the minister, he got up. Like I saw, I want to say this to him. I actually saw the minister electricity energize him as though he had never been drained. Mm -hmm. And we got up and come out back to the podium, come up to the rostrum, and the minister said, do y'all know this brother here? And everybody was saying, yeah, that's brother Bonnie, that's brother Bonnie, that's brother Bonnie. And the minister said, Brother Bonnie, what kind of name is that? His mm. name is Shaheed Muhammad. And the roof just flew off, off the mall that, that evening. Yes, sir. Oh, praise the to a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, sir. Okay, now, Brother Shaheed, I wanted to ask you, 400,000 final call newspapers. Yes, sir. I have, you know, a nation baby, someone who's born in nation. Yes, sir. So, Papers yes, by the sir. grace of Allah. It is yes, one of sir. the hardest things to do. I don't know if people for certain people like myself. Yes. Yes. Real whole certain things, I, you know, certain things I yes. can I can speak, I can do. Yes. Sir. The final call newspaper is a taking that rejection every day. It, yes. it was it was always challenging to me. Yes, How sir. Are you able to sell 400000 Well, as a little boy, I always was a salesman. We sold bottles, we we sold copper, we sold aluminum. Uh, we sold mangoes, we sold oranges, you know. So I had always had the gift of selling, right? Yes, sir. And um, when I first went out the paper in Panama, me in uh, Tallahassee, the brother took me. We went out of town to Panama City, and uh, um, Panama City. The brother slapped. Put the papers on me, mm. and uh, I got rid of all my papers. But after I got rid of all my papers, I was ready to go. And the brother said, "They don't operate like that, brother. You know, uh, we are a team. You know what I mean? Mm. And we all came together, and we all lead together. You know, and I kind of became a little disgruntled, you know, because you know I felt like I wanted to go back home, right? Yes, sir. But anyway." Yes, sir. Um, the brother is explaining the brother on the way back. The, the brother is explaining to the brother, We don't break rank, you know. Mm -hmm. 
um, that uh, we uh, 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 shut down uh, as a team and everybody leave together, you know, and, you know, I kind of just, it was in disagreement with him a little bit, you know, but come to find out two or three weeks later, you know, I learned through processing that, you know, that was uh, the structure, you know what I'm saying, that the nation had at that time. So uh, what we used to do in Tallahassee, my fact, let me uh, back up a little bit. When I was in Tallahassee, it was like a bedroom. And um, we had final call newspaper from the front door all the way to the back wall, to the ceiling, right? Well, anyway, I didn't have a job, right? And I remember going, I remember us going to Panama City one time, and a brother came with me to me, uh, lost found, and gave me a bank bag full of quarters, you know? And I called, it was three of us together, and I called the brother, I said, look, man, this brother just gave me a bank bag full of quarters. Take some, brother. Take some, brother. Take some, because I'm happy, right? Yes, sir. And uh, uh, we came back uh, from Panama City that night, and I said, it's all right here. I love this here, right? So uh, by me not having a job uh, while I was in Tallahassee, ends an odd job, you know, I made the final call with newspaper. I made that out of a job, mm -hmm. you know, in Tallahassee. And I became to have a relationship with all uh, F, um, Florida AM students and Florida uh, University students and uh, Tallahassee community students, you know. And I was able to deal and wield the final call newspaper. It, until I left there. Praise so, but fast, fast forward, uh, before I joined the nation, I had been to many different cities, you know? Um, um, and I knew how to navigate going to different cities uh, before I came to the nation. But anyway, when I got to Miami, uh, me and the Brotherhood, we would go to different cities like West Palm Beach, uh, Fort Miles, um, Orlando, and uh, sometimes Jacksonville. But anyway, many of those brothers fell out, right? And um, by so many papers around, I used to take four, five hundred papers, right, and hit the highway. I had a hookup at National car rental brother Newby, who loved Minister Farrakhan, used to put me in a, in a Coupe de Ville Cadillac, right? And during that era, uh, a Coupe de Ville rental for, uh, for uh, a, a weekly rate, it said it was $85, $90, right? Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. would put me in a Coupe de Ville Cadillac, unlimited miles, so I would hit the highway all over the state of Florida, all over Georgia, all over Mississippi, all all over uh, Alabama, you know, and and back. Uh, I I was I was stop in certain cities like Montgomery, Alabama, Birmingham. So brother, give me all the back issues, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I would go into towns that the that the paper had never been into, right? Mm -hmm. And doing that, doing that era. Okay, we're going to wait for Brother Shahid to come right back in. Brother Shakur, Shaka Shakur says, all praise due to Allah. Thank you, Brother Shaka. Thank you all who are watching Brother Tyrone. Says, this is showing up all right here, you know? So I did that for 10 years, mm. right? And then it was some brothers that I knew that they was professional and they couldn't get out with the paper. And I would make my little rounds to their little spots, right? And they would give me 500, 600, 700, sometimes 1,000 papers, right? Mm -hmm. and when I get three or 4,000 papers, I would hit the highway, right? Not only I would hit the highway, I would go into Atlanta, Georgia. I would go into, uh, I would go into uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I would go into Lexington, Kentucky. 
I was going to uh, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. I was going to Detroit. Then I was going to headquarters. Then I would go over to Gary, Indiana. You know, I was just rolling at that time. But I would say this here. When I get back to Miami, you know what I'm saying? I, my, my pocket would look like a football. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> wasn't nobody but myself at that time. So that's how I, I was able to do 400,000 <coughs> 400, people in a run over. And I run over to the time that the minister gave me my name. Beautiful, brother. Hey, praise be to Allah. Thank you. People showing you love all around <coughs> the world. Thank you, brother Oliver. See, so that's beautiful. Let's line, brother Oliver. Thank you all for showing love. Shout out to our YouTube family, brother Musa, brother Kente, sister Hope, sister Auntie. Yes, sir. Brother Daniel E, brother Nelson Ramos, brother Duke. Thank you all for showing love consistently on YouTube as well. Uh, my next question for you, brother Shahid, is the once you oh minister rasul yes you, sir ever since i've known him seen him at savior's day it was always like i saw you right alongside with him when he was on the post active and when he was inactive it, it, whatever i saw whatever he had the title or not i saw you right there being a brother to him and always being a helper and a, a companion what made you all what made you so close to minister rasul well um, you know, we used to go bowling a lot, and uh, um, I really couldn't bowl, but the minister Rasu was a he was a bowler, but he liked the win, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, he was fighting me pretty good, you know what I mean, and, and you know, you know, I accepted this banker okay. because. He was trying to train, even in bowling, right? And uh, um, and he would allow everybody else to go home, but I would have to trail him home. And we mm. would just sit out there and talk, brother, you know? And we became close like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, one day he told me, say, well, brother, you don't know how much I love you. I said, well, brother, minister, you don't know how much I love you, you know? He said, uh, uh, brother, he said, you know, I trust you. He said, I trust you with my family, brother. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You got to be very special, brother. Very, very special. So what I used to do <coughs> when you used to have labels me, <coughs> his ex-wife, I used to take her home. Her and his children, you know? And uh, um, and that's how I began to build our relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. um, he knew that I would never be inappropriate up under no circumstances. You know, and he said that, uh, well, brother, I would trust you with my life. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how me and him became uh, strong, two brothers in love with one another. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. And people are showing you so much love. Thank you. Welcome to my sister Naima. Thank you, everyone who is watching. Um, brother Shahid, we have a brief 60 second commercial break. Yes, sir. Sponsors of the People's Podcast, and we're coming right back to our brother. Thank you all. Please let us know which city you all are watching from, and if you have any guest suggestions, please let us know. We are grateful for every like, share, and subscription. Thank you all for every anonymous cash app. Thank you to all of the People's Podcast affiliates. You all keep us going, and we we are very grateful. And we're coming right back to Brother Shahid. All right, there we go. And we are live with the People's Podcast. Street Premier Media Production. He has a 4K camera and a drone. He does television and film editing. Please reach out if you need any of that. Sister Naima, Stay On Point Dance Academy. She teaches ballet virtually to young girls all across the country. Sister Miriam, ABC I Love Me Children's Book and Coloring Book. My Father's Book, A Soldier in the Movement of Christ. My two books, Cleopatra, which is a children's book, and No Father, No Excuse, both of which are available on Amazon. Perfect.
All right. And thank you, everyone who was watching. Now, Brother Shahid. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, I've had the honor of interviewing Minister Rasul and getting to share with the people some his some of his sense of humor, his kindness. But for you, someone who's been with him for so long, what can you let us know one of your favorite stories of Minister Rasul? Well, Ms. Rasu, you know, once he get to know you, he's very human. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's a very dear loving brother, you know. Um, uh, uh, he liked good food. He liked good movies. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, he just, he just a beautiful, he's just a beautiful brother. Um, you know, he just um oh no nonsense brother. You know, mm -hmm. um uh, he just he just um he just he was just he was just he was just like um uh, a big brother to me, even though I'm older than him, but he was like a big brother to me, you know. He protected yes, me. You know, in a lot of areas, you know, until he learned that I was able to handle, handle myself, you know, for us protecting him. Praise be to Allah. Well, I want to stay right there with Minister Rasul, and please let everyone go back and get a chance to watch that interview. Sister Minister Aisha says, we are so grateful uh, for the foremost. Thank you very much, and thank you everyone who's watching. I wanted to ask you, sir, can you let us know about auditing? Um, and your audit and, and your audit experience with Minister Rasul, can we start there? Yes, sir. Um, uh, first, um, when the minister sent all the labels out to California, um, if someone can tell me what year that was, because mm. I get the years uh, confused. Was it uh, twenty? Was it twenty eleven or twenty twelve? Uh, was it twenty ten when he sent? All the labels out to California. What year it was? Okay, but so I'm sure somebody put that in the chat, but we're going to rock with Okay, well, anyway, after they come back from California six months later, he asked me, uh, uh, did I mind uh, allowing him to uh, uh, audit me? Um, and I said, well, yes, yeah, sir. I ain't got nothing to do, right? And uh, we picked the date. Uh, we picked the date, and um, I came over that morning, and he sat up everything, and I, uh, he told me to relax. You know what I mean? We chatting, and then okay, he said, "Well, we're gonna get started." So um, I sat in front of him. Then he began to ask me certain things, certain things, and then he asked me, "Are you, are you present?" I said, "Yes, sir." He kept asking me, "Was I pre uh, uh, a president?" I said, "Yes, sir." Then he asked me, "Was I there?" I said, "Yes, sir." And then I say, "Well." You won't believe where I'm at. He said, where are you at? I said, I'm in my mother's womb. Mm, mm, mm. He said, are you sure? I said, yes, sir. I'm looking at her entire birth. He said, wow. And then I say, you won't believe that I'm coming up out of the womb. He said, yes. I said, yes, sir. And coming up out of the womb, I began to say these words. I salam alaikum. I salam alaikum. I salam alaikum. Three times. And he said, wow. But when I came up out of the womb, and this is, I, want, I want the sisters to, to, to really listen to what I'm going to say right now. And I realized why they took the midwives away. 
Well, when I came up out of the womb, saying, I salam alaikum, I salam alaikum, I salam alaikum. I was still on the biblical cord. They cut the biblical cord, snatched me off of my mother, right? My mother went to fighting, you know, give me my baby, give me my baby, give me my baby, right? And they would begin to sedate her, right? No sedation would put her to sleep because she's fighting for her baby. And then they dropped me on the floor. Blood glistening out my ears. Then after that, they took a needle and put it into my head. Put a needle into my ear and put a needle into my tongue, right? Through that dynamic experience, I learned now why from, from a baby all the way up until I got about eight years old, I used to talk like this here. Leave me alone. Right? And after going into about nine years of age, one day all of a sudden, I spoke plain. I spoke plain. So what these doctors do, brother, to the black woman, because they have my miraculous birth, brother, right? And somebody always need to be there with them when they're delivering their baby. I just want to say that. Beautiful. Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. And people are bear witness and 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 saying, man, I'm glad that you made that. Uh, my next question for you, sir, is did you ha ever have a, because you sent me a picture of you, like a painting, Master right. Muhammad, the message. How did that come about? Well, these are different, um, these are different things that were revealed to me over the years. Mm, mm. Um, uh, one of, uh, I want to say, I want to thank the sister who uh, painted the portrait. Her name is Sister Zia Muhammad out of Fort Lauderdale, you know. Uh, that's the sister who had the painting in uh, in um, the Salam restaurant with mm -hmm. the sisters reading the book, uh, the, reading the, the, the Quran and the, yes, spring, the spring wisdom. Yeah, she did the painting, you know. And I'm very thankful for that sister, you know, that she did a, a marvelous job. So in that uh, portrait that I, I, is different time, is different time. Um, you will see Master Farad Muhammad and the most honorable Muhammad with the MG, with the, I want to say MGT, but the female angels, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, the most honorable Muhammad with the male angels, right? I had an autobiotic spirit. They took me up to the wheel, mm -hmm. right? And they allowed me to see them training each party in the highest form of my shot, and they train 16 hours a day. You know, they allowed me to see that, you know. And then they brought me back down into my shell. And on the, uh, and um, and I had another out of body experience I put in the portrait that I was taken up, I was taken up to the planets. And I'm looking at each planet, nine planets. I'm looking at each planet, nine planets, right? Yes, sir. And I said, wow, right? When I came back down, I said, wow, man, I can't believe it. So I, I wrote it down. I used to write everything down and date it. But when the hurricane came, Hurricane Andrews came, um, uh, Back in the day, uh, what happened was all my, all my, uh, all my, 
my books and everything, it got saturated in water. So I lost everything uh, for dates and, 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 and months and year and the years that uh, all this him was given to me because what I used to do when I uh, get revealed something, right? Uh, have a vision, I get up and write it down right then and put the date and what time that it uh, took place. But all that got saturated and I lost all that. Mm -hmm. Now on the on 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 um on the occasion they brought me back up again, same way, and I saw they allowed me to see 15 planets. In mm. rotation. Okay. You know? Okay. Right? So I said, wow, man, it's all right. You know? Now, uh, remember the minister just said uh, when um, he had an out of body experience going from, was it from New York to Chicago or from, from Boston to Chicago? Which one? He said, and the most unknowledgeable woman was sitting in the room crying, saying, yes, sir. Um, saying, uh, uh, my son Wallace? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Well, I had the same type of spirit going up in the universe. Like, mm. I was going up um, in a slant, not up, but slant into the universe, triple doctor. And they allowed me to see thousands of planets. Thousands of planets was coming. Thousands of planets was coming coming down, right? And I'm going up. The more I go up, the more I see planets coming down, right? And I say, wow, man, this is amazing here, right? And 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 when I had when I had that, it took me back, it, it took me back to how uh uh the most honorable Muhammad said a lot who came in the person master for our Muhammad will give Will give us a new heaven and a new and a new earth, right? Yes, sir. You know, so they they are preparing, you know, a new heaven and a new earth for us, you know. And sometimes, you know, we've been saturated by this world. We don't think that's a reality, you know, but it's a reality. And like in the um, Wednesday night, uh, in the um, Wednesday night study group, I explained to the uh, the circle that, you know, uh, Satan has built a marvelous world. And we, and you know, we get fatuated over his, his building, his entering in, you see yes, what I'm saying? His, his putting uh, high scrapers together, you know, bridges. So I was saying to the, to the study circle, I said, well, you know, since Satan building Master Farad Mom in the most honorable home, they ain't stopped building. They making new suns, new stars. They doing all that, you know. They haven't stopped doing. You know what I'm saying? What they say they gonna do for us? Give us a new heaven and a new earth, you know. So that's what uh, I seen thousands of planets coming down, you know. Now uh, I put it like this here. I don't understand it, but I know Satan can't give me that. I do know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, um, um, I was blessed. Now this is this is uh, this is uh, I call it uh, I call it the big one. I was in the circle in the crowd. When the minister was being taken up. Mm, mm, and he was taken up in a beam of light. And when he was going up, I screamed, and the scream went throughout the universe. That's how strong the scream was when I seen him being taken up, going into the wheel. Mm, you know? Mm. And um uh, The way, the way the sister 
the way the sister drew it, that's the way that they gave it to me. Mm. How I saw him go up. Now, some of this, what I'm sharing, it's been with me for 20, 25 years. And, you know, I've been dropping little seeds every now and then to certain people, right? Because everybody can't handle this here. Yes, sir. You know, everybody can't handle this here. And, and you know, um, um, I remember, I remember giving the minister a picture of the 2007 at the Fort Lauderdale Hotel on, we had him, uh, his anniversary was uh, May 11, 2007, and they came down uh, uh, and uh, to Fort Lauderdale, and you know he, him and his family, and so by me have, you know, had built the relationship. Um, by by me had built a relationship, you know, being in the circle. You know what I mean? Yes, so I, I I took the picture out and I say, Sister Maria, could you get this to the minister? She said, no, Brother Shahi, you know him, you give it to him, right? So I said, uh, Brother Minister, uh, I'd like for you to have this for your anniversary present, right? Mm -hmm. Then the minister took the picture and he began to look at it, right? Staring at it, the E-team staring at it, the family staring at it, uh, uh, some of the ministers staying at it uh, throughout the state of Florida and Georgia was there, you know, and he looked at it and looked at it. And then he said, I just don't like how the sisters dress and gave it to, uh, uh, gave it to the Supreme and the Supreme put it, tucked it away and put it somewhere. Well, anyway, um, that was, um, that was very touching that day. You know, but anyway, when the minister got ready to leave, we was uh, uh, taking the minister out. I was on post, um, getting into the, I was on post securing the elevator. Uh, when they getting on the uh, uh, last elevator getting out, I was on that elevator post, right? And when the minister came to the elevator, right, he came in front and said, brother, Every time I seen you here, you was on post. And then he say, he got into the elevator, the doors was open. And then he said these words him, Shahid, Shahid, Shahid. And the doors closed, right? And I said, wow, you know, thank you, Brother Minister. <laughs> yes, sir, <laughs> you know? And um, so uh, it's just, you know, it's just had I have had an impact on stuff being being given to me. Um sometimes I know how to explain it, sometimes I don't know how to explain it. You know what I mean? Yes, but sir. uh but I do know that it's all good. I do know hey. that it's all good, you know. And I want to back up. Um I remember going to Mars Marion in nineteen 98. Now, I'm pretty sure I know uh, we have a uh, recording in case of uh, somebody venulized the Mars, right? We got them on recording, right? But I went, me and four more brothers, we went to Mars Mary Young. It was Savings Day, 98. And um, I ended up in the sanctuary, but they ended up in the uh, foyer area where you get checked at. And once I got up by the gold, uh, the uh, front row, my body started shaking like a leaf on a tree, mm. right? And I tried to man up, right? And they broke that, they broke that a piece. And my body kept shaking like a leaf on a tree. You know, and uh, really kind of frightened me, and I kind of, I kind of get up out of there. 
right? And I say, let me go. I went back out by the foyer, and then I come back. Let me see, do this gonna happen again? And as soon as I got back in the same area, my body started shaking like a leaf on a tree. Mm, mm. And I remember the minister said something like this here. Said many of the prophets' body was shaking, and people thought that they would be having an absolutely fit. Mm. You know, he said that be. The, he said that be the spirit of Allah in that person, right? Mm -hmm. Now, also, uh, uh, in the uh, on uh, Facebook, you see me, you see me with my hands stretched out. I was in the masala, right? And I was making sakat. And uh, my body started shaking like a leaf on a tree, mm -hmm. right? And I had my arms stretched out like that. I didn't stretch them out like that. They stretched them out like that. And it was pulling me like a horse was on one side and a horse was on the other side. And they were stretching my body. And I couldn't do them or say nothing but this here. Yes, Allah, I do your will. Yes, the Lord, do your will. Yes, the Lord, do your will. Yes, Master Prophet. Yes, the most honorable life of I do your will, whatever you want me to do. Yes, I help your minister. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's for a whole hour they had me in the Marcella. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And it looked like somebody had took a bucket of water and throw it over me. That's how, I, that's how wet I was. Uh, that was, I want to say that was, um, I want to say that probably was um, 2018 to 2019. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, Brother I want to say right there. Thank you very yes, much. And thank you everybody who's watching and showing love and sending positive energy to Brother Shahid. I wanted to ask you, I want to go back to your vision, out-of-body out experience, your vision of Master Fire Muhammad, Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. How did Master Fire Muhammad, what was he wearing? He was in that white unit, that white suit, right? Over the sisters. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was in a black suit over the brother, over the black, uh, uh, the, men, uh, the, the male angels, right? And I was like, um, you know how you get Mars Marion, you're up on the back of it, right? I was looking down at them, mm, mm. right? That's how funny it allowed me to come, come to them, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Looking, right? Right. And uh, well, it was such an impact on me, right? Um, I could never forget that, right? I could never forget that, you know? Um, so I said, wow, man, uh, I have to be able to explain this here. So this, um, uh, the sister did the painting in, I wanna say 2002, 2002. And I've, uh, then I was able to get what they gave me, and I put it in the painting, in the poetry. Yes, Beautiful. Thank you, everyone who is watching. Brother Shahid, I wanted to ask you, sir, um, what type of music do you enjoy listening to? <laughs> now, really, now it's going to, it's going to, um, seem strange. Um, I love listening to the minister music. Um, I love the violins. Um, for, for some reason, I used to love Oli Goldie before I came into the nation. 
But they took me away from all of that. Right? You know, um, uh, I, I believe, you know, I, how can I say this here? Um, they making, they making me a new me. Right? Um, It just, you know, they, they, um, um, how would I put it? Um, they emptying the, they emptying the worldly, um, uh, the worldly, uh, um, um. Mindset that I have in me, they emptied it out of me, right? <clears throat> um, you know, they don't allow me to have much pleasure. Mm, mm. They don't allow me to have much pleasure, you know. And uh, um, um, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I put, I work on the cruise line, right? Mm. Uh, um, um, receiving people coming in and taking a cruise, right? And a lot of the brothers so fascinated by different women coming in from all over the world, right? Yes, sir. And they always, Muhammad, look at that there. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, and I always explain, brother, my mind is not there, brother. You know what I mean? You know, uh, uh, you know, you you know, you need to tighten up, brother. You know what I mean? You know, and stop thinking below the waist and start thinking above the waist, brother. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, and they know that I'm totally different. You know. But uh, but Satan don't stop trying to um, entice you, you know. So they try to entice me with the music, you know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, with um, I mean, with women's coming through looking like Rihanna, you know what I mean? You know, yes, you know, <laughs> you know. Yes. But you know, I've been I've been trained and taught so good, right? Uh, that you know, uh, that don't that's not appealing to me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Our sisters look good, but you know, they are not appealing like IMGT sisters. You that's know right. what I mean? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And the MGT should know. You know what I'm saying? You you shouldn't be wanting their autograph. They should be wanting your autograph. Yes, sir. And yeah. the same thing with the FOI. That's they right. Be want their autograph. They should be want our autograph because God gave us. You see, what I'm saying, and told us that we was the best. Beautiful. Praise be to a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And on that positive note, Brother Shahid, on behalf of myself, my family, and the viewing audience of the People's Podcast, we want to thank you for your many sacrifices and the sacrifices of your family to help establish Islam here in North America. We thank a lot for you and your family. We have one more question for you, sir. Yes, sir. What would you like your legacy to be? But i like to share this in with that second uh, uh, oddity spirit. Okay. That when Minister Rasul was auditing me, right, the second one, he said, are you there, brother? I said, yes, sir. And I said, brother, you won't believe what I see. He said, what you see? I said, I see a whirlwind coming down. Mm. He said, yeah. I said, you won't believe, brother, I'm in the whirlwind. Mm, mm, mm. Being twirled, I'm tw being twirled, right? And uh, um, we always have a saying of uh, Marcus God that say he's coming back in a whirlwind. Yes, sir. Know? Yes, sir. Right? But he's deceased. But I'm alive, man, going up in a live whirlwind, you know? So, 
then twirling up into the whirlwind when this is very this is very key. Sparing up right into the mother plane. Mm -hmm. And the first thing they allowed me to see once I got on the mother plane was a mountain of gold. I didn't say no hill. I said a mountain. And the mountain of gold shining so bright that I had to turn my gaze. Mm -hmm. Right? And then after that, they took me into another compartment and showed me a circular made piano. Never seen in my life. Right? Then after that, they shifted me into another compartment where there were Master Farah Muhammad and the most honorable Muhammad, right? They wouldn't allow me to see them from, from, from uh, uh, shoulder down. They allowed me to see them from shoulder, shoulder up, right? And they had two angels flanking them, <coughs> flanking them with two gold crescent swords in their hand. Oh, and the gold crescent sword looked just like the gold what I saw on the mount on the mountain. It shined just that bright. But anyway, Master Farah Muhammad, the most honorable Muhammad here, here, and the angels in front of them, and I'm about two, uh, two foot in front of the angels directly in the mill, right? And I can feel energy just um, inserting in my body, right? And they allowed me to stay out for about 10 minutes, right? Mm. And all of a sudden, you know, Brother Rasu asking questions. He's asking questions, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, he asked the question, do you see what they got on? I said, no, Brother Rasu, it just only let me see them from the neck up, I maybe mean, from the shoulders up. I said, but I do see the ain't, I do see what the angels got on. The angels had on pearl white garments with them crescents, uh, gold swords in their hand, right? And, I've, um, and I was let back down, you know what I mean? And I've, uh, that's the experience, brother, uh, Joshua. And I want to thank you so very much, brother, you thank know, you. for allowing me to get all this out. <laughs> because a lot of this has been um, inside of me for years, you know, for years, for years, and years. You know, and uh, I'm thankful and grateful that um, uh, I'm relieved now. You know, you know, from a lot of from a lot of pressure. But I want to thank I want to thank everybody um, uh, that you have on your podcast, uh, listening view. I want to thank them so very much. I want to definitely, definitely, definitely thank Allah who came in the person master for all mom. I definitely want to thank the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And most certainly, I want to thank the honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan Muhammad, who they decided in the seat over the house of the Nation of Islam. I love, I love, I love the honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan Muhammad. You know, with all my heart, all my soul, all my spirit, every atom, every organ in my body. I love that man because he allowed me to be the example that I am today. Thank you, sir. All praise to Allah. Beautiful. And on that positive note, Brother Shaheed, this is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing yeah. off for this podcast. Asalaamu Alaikum, sir. Well, Islam. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. Excellent.